in this video i'll show you how to get the grid item count within a model driven app for a referenced grid item now here i have a simple model driven app listing all the planets within our solar system now if i go into any of the record this is uh, this basically uh, is a record for uh, a specific planet and now here as you see i have uh, something called as a grid so account grid so accounts listed to that specific record set now as you see over here this grid has 298 record now what if i want to extract this information 298 in order to do that what we can do is uh, make use of javascript now uh, before we go into the javascript details uh, i have already created a javascript file named as um, javascript sample now i'm going to make use of the same file now this same file javascript sample i'm going to write a simple javascript to extract the information now in order to extract the information we need to do a couple of things but um, let's start by writing a javascript function get grid count so this is the name of the function get grid count and we're going to pass the execution context now the we will make use of uh, form context so where form context is execution context dot get form context and from here now we need to get the item count so where count and we are going to output this count as an alert so i'll just say alert uh, grid item count is whatever the value which is basically coming from the count variable put a semicolon now how do you get the count so where count equal to form context dot get control so we need to get the control so which control we are going to get we are going to get the grid control now we need to find the name of that grid control and once we get that we have a function called as get grid once you get that control and once we get that grid control we just write something called as get total record count now this is a simple javascript which we have written now what is the control name what is the grid name so in order to find that we will just go into the model driven app now this is the model driven app and then from here we need to find the grid control name now i have opened this form so this form i'll show you how to open the form so i'll just go back so we go we go into the tables and then go into the custom table so my table name is planet so i'm going to planet go to the forms and then form forms i'll go to the information which is the main form now here i have <coughs> added that grid control right of the accounts now this grid grid control is somewhere here so if i select this grid grid control you will see that this belongs to tab underscore general underscore account but this is not the grid control if you again select within inside this is the actual grid control and the name of the grid control is subgrid underscore accounts so what you need to do you need to copy this subgrid underscore accounts and go to your javascript file and paste this over here so what essentially we are doing in the code is we are taking the form context getting the control of that grid getting the control and then telling that oh this is a grid so get grid and then get the total record count and once you do that you just need to hook this javascript to the form and i'll just copy this function name get grid count now in my previous example i have used a lot of javascript in the load so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go into the general tab uh, so let me select the form basically so this is the form and i have a couple of events from my previous example i'll just remove this handlers and now i will add an event handler select the right javascript so javascript of the web resource which i have loaded is javascript sample uh, and the function is get grid count pass execution context as first parameter done save and publish we have already uploaded the javascript if you haven't uploaded you just select the file select the right javascript click on save and once you upload that javascript with the updated value make sure that you publish this information 
and once everything is all set you can go back to the planets table click on any of the record this time i'm selecting earth record and as you see over here it says grid item count is zero now why this grid item count is zero is because this grid has been loaded very late compared to the form control now in this model driven app if you go into the the grid view and if you navigate into one of the record the grid item count is zero because the the grid which is listed over here is loading way after the javascript has been executed so in order to tackle this problem what you can do is like you can introduce delay so you can introduce the delay execution of the javascript until all the form gets form component gets loaded or alternatively if your solution permits then what you can do is like instead of going into the on load on load of this particular form you can just take this off and then you can put it in on save so what happens like this is like once the person saves the form then you can uh, add this functions get grid, grid count and enable it and pass execution context as a first parameter and click on save and publish so what happens like the form gets loaded completely and once the user saves then only the user should be able to see the record count so if that is the case if that works for your logic then you can go ahead and uh, do that so as you see over here i'm going inside the record uh, of one of the planet so if i'm in neptune planet and if i click on save then you can see the grid account is loaded successfully so it is 298 alternatively uh, if you want to just verify if i just uh, go ahead and delete a couple of records then the record count is 296 so let it delete the record so what i'm doing is like i'm deleting the record i'm just making those changes so it is now 296 if i click on save then the grid item count is 296 so that means post saving the javascript gets executed and then you are able to get the grid item count so this is also one of the way through which you can get the grid item count that's it folks thanks for watching